On top of his other jobs, the churl had to do national service. All those axes, swords and armour required iron. And that created another terrible job, the bog iron hunter. What are we after, Jerry? Well, we're looking for tennis. It's, it's a stuff called bog ore. It's the, the, the iron ore that was used certainly in the Saxon period. In Saxon times, bogs were the main source of iron ore for smelting. The wetlands were where the ore had developed across millions of years. It then just had to be found. Who would the guys have been who would have been doing this? Probably at the very bottom, I think. I mean, it's a mucky, hard, endless job because they would probably be needing, possibly when they were doing a lot of iron smelting, 30 or 40 kilos a day. It's all right for us because we've got wet weather gear on, but they wouldn't have had anything. Oh, it's, it's, it's a thankless task because obviously the iron smelter was dependent on getting his iron ore. It's a bit like a needle in a haystack, isn't it? It's to it is, it is. I mean, they probably know a good idea where it is, but not exactly where it is. And because they'll be utilising it year in, year out, they're always looking for new sources, so they'll be out there all the time looking for it and probing for it. I found something that's yeah. going clonk a bit. Just get that out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that we're looking for. You say the sort of thing. Is it it? It is. I mean, it doesn't look like anything special, but that is bog ore. How much metal do you reckon there is in there? Well, I think if we were going to do a, a smelt tomorrow, we'd probably need another 10 or 15 of these, because uh, it only weighs perhaps two or three kilograms, that's and they're very... just scattered off around the bogs. It's a frustrating job, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is. This was a back-breaking and thankless job. Out in all weathers in places like this. Four or five more lumps like the one we got, and I'd have enough for an axe. Being a bog iron hunter might well have been miserable, but they were lucky compared to those who had to use the finished article. In the Dark Ages, very few jobs paid money. Like the churl, most people just worked to live. But there were some specialised jobs. Someone had to work metal. Not everyone could do this. But to get metal hot enough to work with required material capable of giving off great heat. Charcoal. 